I am a category manager for Bench Made Knives, and I'm here to show you the 24, 2024 collection here at SHOT Show. I want to start off with kind of the biggest story that we have, which is the water collection. So this is the full water collection right here. Um, this was a collection that we're introducing to launch off of our hunt series. Uh, so where our customers, when they're hunting, um, you know, they buy bench mates, but we're kind of, we didn't necessarily have a product for them in the off season because we found out that, you know, most hunters fish and most fishermen hunt. And so the natural place was to add to uh, a water collection. So we have uh, six skews uh, ranging from two fillet knives, a nine inch fillet and a seven inch fillet. And we have a large fixed blade called the undercurrent. Uh, hard use, you know, uh, rescue style knife uh, for when you're on a boat. Uh, we also have the intersect, which is a small fixed blade, uh, really versatile for carrying everyday cutting tasks as well as something that can be carried on the water. It has Santa Prime handles uh, and the micro, uh, sorry, <laughs> Santa Prime handles and Magna Cut blade steel. So the Magna Cut was optimized for corrosion resistance, so it was the best blade steel to put together with our water collection. So the two folding knives called the Adira and the Mini Adira feature a grippery handle with grip texture uh, as well as these belly grooves for additional grip, deep finger choil uh, for protecting your hands when you are doing push cutting casts. Again, CPM Magna Cut blade steel, uh, really robust blade for hard use tasks. Accenting that with the orange anodized thumb stud and our orange uh, high vis paracord with the nylon bead. Um, so then you have your mini size as well here. Uh, this also has an anodized aluminum backspacer to give it that extra durability that you need for those hard use moments. So, you know, easy pocket friendly. This is slightly larger for those harder use tasks. Um, got to show you the sheath on the intersect. Um, it's ambidextrous, so you can put it in to either side, um, no matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. And uh, you can uh, do the extra clasp on here so that if you want to uh, tip up carry, it won't come out. Um, you can move the pocket clip from the front to the back so that if you want to carry that on a pack strap, um, you know, maybe the chest of a waiter belt, you can do that. You can also loop a belt through these slots. Um, we also have the, the sheath for the undercurrent, which is our large fixed blade. So as a thumb release, so high retention on that guy. So, and then we have the uh, molded sheaths on both the nine inch and the seven inch uh, meat crafter. Uh, white laser mark on these as well. Uh, we did a lot of testing on the traditional black laser mark and we found that this white laser mark is actually higher in corrosion resistance than our black. So we wanted to elevate that not only with the uh, magna cut, but all the way down to the, the laser mark. Uh, then going from the water collection, we can go to the outdoor knives and we are bringing a new variant of the Bushcrafter. So we have a premium version of the Bushcrafter in uh, carbon fiber handles with a dark red G10 layer to really just give it a color pop. Titanium tubes. Uh, this is a crewwear blade steel with a Cerakote coating. Uh, and it also has the fuller. So this is a uh, production model of Shane Seibert's custom uh, Cascadia knife. So really excited about that one. Uh, that one will come with a uh, molded sheath with that thumb release. It'll also have a, uh, it's gonna have a dangle carry. Um, I don't know where that piece is, but I'll have to find it. So. Um, 
but you can also scout carry as well as dangle carry with an additional attachment there. I can find that in a minute. So, um, so that is the uh, carbon fiber bushcrafter variant, and it also comes in a mini size. So I'll show you the mini size in the G10. So the G10 has a leather, new leather sheath uh, with that extra retention strap, a uh, ferrule rod holder, and this is an OD green G10 with the titanium tubes, that dark uh, red layer as well. And this is CPM S30V uh, with that same puller. The mini size is just really awesome. Really excited about this one coming out. So again, Shane Cyber custom into our production. Uh, then we have the uh, mini meat crafter, the meat crafter 4 inch. Uh, so we wanted to uh, extend the meat crafter family with a smaller version, um, smaller blade. So for a lot of the uh, upland bird uh, hunters, this is a great uh, processing knife for large game bird, poultry, things like that. So uh, CPM 154, just like the Meat Crafter, in our new uh, Santa Prime dark olive uh, color. So then to finish out hunt, we have a new version of the North Fork. And so what we did was we straightened out the blade. It was a recurve, uh, just making it easier to uh, sharpen in the field, maintain that blade in the field, and make it more versatile, uh, kind of everyday carry. Um, we also put in a orange uh, backspacer to kind of tie that in with the rest of the hunt collection, as well as the orange pivot. So that's SP, uh, CPM S30V blade steel um, on a drop point north fork. So then we have uh, the Narrows. So we launched the Narrows last year, uh, the 748. And I wanted to come out with a black version of that. So all black, uh, titanium, DLC, uh, matte finish on the handle. But we, what we did was with the blade, we wanted to make it DLC, but uh, make it a polish. So you have that contrast, and you have a visible sheen to the blade versus the matte of the handle. So you know, all black variant with uh, uh, PVD uh, pocket clip uh, pivots, as well as uh, the barrel spacers as well. Um, in that you know, awesome narrows with the M390 blade steel. So. Then we can move on to the Adamas family. So we are extending the Adamas family by adding a mini auto Adamas. So same great build as uh, the original Adamas and we launched the auto Adamas. Uh, so now we have it in that mini size. Um, OD Green G10 uh, with the fuller. And this is CPM crew wear with the FDE PVD. Uh, we also have a black G10 version, and then we have the premium marbled carbon fiber with the uh, FDE PVD liners, uh, pocket clip, pivot, um, as well as the uh, barrel spacers. So, and this one is CPM MagnaCut uh, with a uh, stone wash polish finish. And just to kind of go from the dress finish of the Mini Adamas, um, we can roll right into the 710. So uh, 2024 marks the 25th anniversary of Access Lock. So we wanted to bring back an iconic model like the 710 uh, with an inline version, which is the 710FE-24. Uh, the 710 FE BK uh, 24, uh, 2401. So this is a, a limited 2500 piece run, um, and this will be in line. Aluminum handle, uh, S90V blade steel, FDE PVD blade, um, full liners. Uh, really nice, you know, staying with the recurve blade that you found in the original uh, 710. Uh, then we have the Limited, which is in a matte uh, milled aluminum, uh, black aluminum uh, anodized with the FDE PVD blade, and that is a MagnaCut blade seal. 
Okay, then as we go from kind of the heritage of the 710s, uh, we have an update to our Bali Song collection. So this is a brand new knife called the, uh, it's called the Necron. And this is really providing uh, Bali Song for the flipping community. Uh, so we have three variants. Um, the first is the 99, which is in a, a J, uh, G10. Uh, with uh, G10 uh, handle extensions and so you can uh, remove this screw, open up the G10 handle and put tungsten weights in there. We included tungsten weights so that you can adjust how that feels in hand when you're flipping. So um, this is S30B blade steel, this is a stonewash polish with uh, select edge. So it's going to be really sharp, really precise. So uh, then we have the uh, red G10 uh, with the gold accents uh, and this has a black DLC uh, <clears throat> battle wash finish in the S30V blade steel. Um, then we also have the trainer obviously so uh, for the folks that are <clears throat> just wanting to practice a little bit without the bite of the select edge blade. Uh, really nice milling uh, in the uh, trainer size as well with the royal blue G10. So then we go from the Necrons uh, to the 290-241. This is a unlimited limited. Uh, so this is a really beautiful knife. We had the Immunity Family launch last year. <clears throat> now we have a limited version. Okay. Unidirectional carbon fiber. Uh, oh. Sapphire blue PVD pivots, uh, thumb stud, as well as the liners. Like if you look at that, it's just so beautiful. Uh, blue PVD pocket clip as well. Dama steel blade. Uh, stainless uh, lanyard bead and just a really beautiful 290 full immunity. Uh, then we go into kind of the tactical side of things with the Claymore family. So we brought new variants starting with the full size we have the Claymore OTF. We have it in serrated and <coughs> non-serrated versions of this with a uh, Ranger Green Grivery uh, CPM D2 blade steel uh, and just a spine uh, out the front uh, with also a mini version of this as well. So black, the mini uh, will come in plain edge uh, versus the serrated and plain edge of the, the full size. So really exciting with a lightweight, you know, OTF if you like to shoot out but you want something more tactical, the, the Claymore OTF is going to be the right one for you. Yeah. Then we have the shootout. If you're a fan of the shootout, but maybe not the tonneau blade, and then we have a drop point shootout as well. So in the Ranger Green Grizzly Black DLC crew wear blade as well. <coughs> Sorry. Then for seasonal colors, last year at SHOT Show we had a lot of seasonal colors. Uh, we have the shootout in sage green with uh, gold anodized accents. And then the black DLC crew wear blade as well. And we also have that with the lanyard. So you get your tonneau blade uh, lanyard loop on the back instead of the glass breaker. And then we go from the shootout to the bug out family. And pulling off of that sage green grivery, we have uh, the new CPM S30V blade with uh, Cerakote crushed silver. And then we also have the gold thumb stud as well. So that's a mini bug out for the year with that new uh, crushed silver blade coating. And then finally we have the tan uh, rivery bug out. So this will be in line while the sage green <coughs> of the shootout and bug out were on the seasonal side of things. So we have the gold accents on the thumb stud and the barrel spacers. So thanks for listening to uh, what we have new for 2024. Uh, Benchmade and PI Line.